is nothing more powerful than imagination. It can shape the fabric of reality, transforming everything you may think you know. But as with any power of such magnitude, it's unpredictable. At first, I thought it was all a cruel joke. performance attract a force of great cosmic evil the truth is none of that matters now because even after all the death decay and darkness I still remember exactly who I am fans and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. As you can see the PTB is live for the mid chapter patch and with it has come Nicolas Cage into the fog. Now, I've already covered his backstory in another video. In this video I wanted to cover his perks and then I wanted to show him in the fog a bit. So let's go ahead and start with his perks. We have Dramaturgy. When people bring you on their project, they do so because of the unexpected magic you bring to your performance. While running, press the active ability button 2 to run with knees high for 0.5 seconds and then gain 25% haste for 2 seconds, followed by an unknown effect, become exposed for 12 seconds, gain 25% haste for 2 seconds, scream but nothing happens, Gain a random rare item with random add-ons and drop any held item. The same effect cannot happen twice in a row. Dramaturgy causes exhaustion for 40 seconds. Can't be used while exhausted. Okay, so that is an interesting one. So basically you get a slight speed boost uh, while you're using it and it is an exhaustion perk. And then you have something happened for you. Could be good, could be bad. Very interesting. I, I sort of like the gamble that the perk makes happen there. Scene partner. You lock in with your co-star, engaging with and reacting to each other on a higher level. Scene partner activates when you are in the killer's terror radius. Whenever you look at the killer, scream, then see the killer's aura for five seconds. There's a chance you will scream again, if you do, you will see the killer's aura for an additional 2 seconds. Scene partner then goes on cooldown for 60 seconds. That doesn't seem like that great of a perk to me. I mean, you are letting the killer know where you are. Um, I find that sort of interesting, personally. Alright. Plot twist. Big moments are vital. But you know that sometimes an understated read can be just as powerful. Plot twist activates when you are injured. Press the ability button while crouched and motionless to enter the dying state silently. When using plot twist to enter the dying state, you leave no blood pools and you make no noise, and you can fully recover from the dying state. When you recover by yourself using plot twist, you are healed instantly and you gain 50% haste for 4 seconds. Okay, so that's very interesting. So you can basically, if you're not being chased, drop yourself to the ground and then heal yourself to full health and get a speed boost. Interesting. That could be a lot of fun. Um, I see it as fun for the killer too, because if I walk across somebody that's suddenly on the ground that I know shouldn't have been, I assume I should be able to pick them up and just go hook them too. So, very interesting. Alright, with all that being said, with the PTB going on, everybody right now is clamoring to play Nicolas Cage, and it's really hard to find a match because of that. The wait times are fairly extensive. So instead, what I've decided to do is, I want to show him off in-game. And I've decided what I'll do is I'm going to play a game of Killer and bring some of the more famous survivors into one match. Why do I want the famous survivors in a match? Well, so that I can get some pictures with them, of course. Alright, 
So, we had to bring in the traditional ghost face here to get his selfies with some big stars here in DVD. Went ahead and put in Ash from Evil Dead, because, I mean, he's obviously been in multiple movies and television shows. And we've got Nicolas Cage, of course, because, I mean, he is the big new star overall. And then we went ahead and have Kate, who's a big-time singer, and Thalita, who's a model. So, we're going to try to hunt them all down, get some pictures with them. Seems like they don't want to be giving pictures out to fans right now, but that's all right. We're still going to get them anyways. So, they also are running uh, the Nicolas Cage perks here. So, you just heard Ash there scream. <laughs> it sort of disappeared there, it seemed like. That was interesting. Alright, Polita screamed. I'm going to head this direction, go back after these people. All right, we got Nicolas Cage here. That's important. Got to go after the big time star. Also saw Kate there. Come on, Mr. Cage. Don't be shy, I'm a big fan. Alright. Obviously, Mr. Cage is a little bit nervous in his debut here in Dead by Daylight. I can understand a little bit of stage fright. They were all over there. All right. All right, they really got me from far off. Hello, Ash. Oh, 
Mr. Cage. Such a surprise to see you here. Well then, we will get you to your new accommodations. Don't want to keep a big spare waiting. Alright, so somebody intentionally fell down over there. I see them. And I was able to get over here and pick them up. So that does work out really well as killer. <laughs> Alright then. And we see somebody over there. Wow, barbecue and chili could be a really great perk in this type of situation. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Hopefully they'll actually uh, reveal me so I can find them a bit easier. Oh, well, that's Mr. Cage. We do want them to free Ash because we still have to take a picture with him as well. Hopefully Mr. Cage can do that because Thalita is a little busy right now. Not sure they're gonna get to Kate in time. Ash fell back down over here. Alright, Ash. Uh, oh, oh. Well, we got a nice picture with Ash. I do have to say that perk of his isn't really that great of a perk, I would say. <laughs> um, the fact that he just automatically falls on the ground really is a bit rough. And now Nicholas is down on the ground as well. Which means that Kate's gonna die on the hook. I mean, they are bots, so evidently Nick cares more about getting out himself than he does about rescuing his fellow survivor. I can understand that. He is a big time star after all. Let's hope that we can chase him down, though, here. If he went to that gate, then he's gonna get out. Yep, he got out. Unfortunate. Alright, Ron Torment Creek. I think this was also supposed to be updated in the PTB here. But I don't care about that too much. My main focus is to find Mr. Nicholas Cage and to get my picture. I went ahead and updated my build a little bit here, keeping in mind Mr. Cage's perk. I'm gonna leave her because she's already three quarters of the way there. And 
I do want Mr. Cage. just disappeared interesting very unfortunate well you know what Stuck on things, unfortunate. Gotta love these bots that just loop in the same pattern all over again. Alright. Well, we got him down. Not the greatest start by any means. We'll put him up over here. As it, main goal here is to get his picture. Gonna hurry over here as best I can. Oh, that is really bad news. Alright, we're just going straight back in. They're getting generators done this fast, then we're just gonna go ahead and tunnel. normal game I wouldn't do it but it's kind of a game where the bots are just uh, slamming through the generators and yeah gonna go ahead and tunnel if I need to see them in the corn, but they can automatically see me. At least I do have my perks that do help. Well, let's go get our picture. I want my picture with you. Really happy getting the big name superstars picture like that. Very popular and really happy for my collection there. Oh, 
but that window is going to be closer there. Yeah, I think they were supposed to have uh, made this map better, but it sure doesn't feel better. It is truly just running in loops over and over again. As long as they throw all the pallets, they'll pretty much be safe, it seems like. I mean, the fact that I had to tunnel in order to get the, the kill that I did, not a good thing for the game. He's back to this horrible window. And I've lost Chase now, so... Oh, alright, at least it gave it to me. <laughs> wow. Alright then, well, if I leave him down, then he will be able to get himself back up, I believe. So, nothing I can do but put him on this hook and get my two kills, I guess. Yeah, um, I have to say, they're quote-unquote improvements to the game. Not really improved <laughs> for this level. This level is pretty atrocious. Alright, so at least we got Ash here using his perk, which actually does help us here because we can see where he is. But the leader was able to blind us, which isn't good. She decided to go down, which we might actually get all three of them here, which is sort of funny. Oh, well, I guess it works, <laughs> but it's only thanks to the bots deciding to use a perk that's very unique. Uh, as I said, the map still is really a struggle for killer, especially a killer like Ghostface. But the important part was, we got our picture with Nicolas Cage. Alright, 
So, my initial thoughts on the PTB are this. I think that Nicolas Cage actually is going to be sort of fun in P in the Dead by Daylight universe. Um, his voice lines are funny. His abilities are not overpowered, but they actually are interesting. They're mostly almost gambling perks in a way, because they can really give you a benefit to them, but at the same time, they do have a definite negative side to them. The park where the part there where the uh, survivor falls on the ground really can work well for the survivor if they're able to stay hidden from the killer until they're able to recover. Being able to heal yourself fully like that is actually very cool. I sort of like it. I may run that perk at times myself, but the thing is, if a killer has barbecue and chili, or is for some reason using Deerstalker as I was in that second game, then you are very, very vulnerable. I was able to show in the first game there how you can even get a Mori off on a person when they're using it, and there's nothing they can do about it. So, as I said, his perks have both good and bad to them, and I think that's great. That's a nice, balanced perk. As far as the changes that supposedly happened to the corn maps, though, um, I think many more changes are needed. Ghostface is the perfect example of a just fairly straightforward M1 killer. It's not like he has any great ability to loop and such. Yes, if I wasn't playing bots, I could sneak up on people a bit more and such, but the bots really were able to highlight how they're able to spot him very easily through the corn, and he's not able to stalk through the corn too well. So, that wasn't beneficial, and I thought I had read in the uh, PTB notes that they were going to try to eliminate the horrible chained together pallets and such of the corn maps. As I sort of showed in that game, the bots were able to chain them together very simply. It was not hard for them to run, and you lose a lot of generators in a hurry just trying to get one survivor down realistically if that had been a team at all I would have at most gotten one kill uh, most likely they would have just gotten out before I even got a second person on the hook and even if they had not they would have gotten the second person off of that hook they would have run for the exit the person who was healthy would have taken a body block then they would have used the remaining pallets in that chain that goes all the way around the outside of the map and made it completely impossible for me to do anything about stopping them from getting out of the gate. I do hope that Dead by Daylight will continue working on their maps because this one still needs a lot more work. Um, for killers like my normal in Nemesis and such, the loops aren't as bad because of the fact that with his tentacle whip and such, he can go over pallets, he can go over windows and such, and he also has the zombies to help him cover the ground. For M1 killers, though, that map is really, really rough right now. But with all that in mind, I am pleased with the direction that DVD is going in. I still don't see where Nicolas Cage is a huge addition to the game. Yes, he's a big name star, but it's not like he adds anything true Fantastic. to the lore. Campfire. Just what we needed a campfire in the middle of nowhere. I will actually take that back. He adds a great amount of comedy to Dead by Daylight. But I think there are other things the game could have used more than him right now. But I'm keeping an open mind. I don't hate the fact that Nicolas Cage is in the game. And I probably will get him as a survivor and use him at points in time. Especially with his voice lines. They are really funny. And he seems to be at least entertaining with his abilities. With all of that in mind though, if you enjoyed what I did in this episode please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so they are aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all in the fog.